What's up, Collective? Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic -y ass clowns. Collective. <coughs> You're going to be receiving some news. Some news is coming your way. Now, this is a, a, a channel message that just popped in my head. I, I, I was supposed to do tell you this a couple days ago, but I didn't. And when I seen this news, have you been, um, has someone given your phone number out? Someone has given my phone number out, right? And who they, 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 they're giving it out. They're giving my number out and I'm gonna, we're gonna get deep off into this. Okay. Now, some of you may be experiencing the same thing. All of a sudden, somebody is is all of these different uh, credit people calling your phone. Home people, repair, home repair, credit repair, things to do with whatever it is that the person you're not dealing with, whatever it is that you're doing, they have they have. Put your number on something. They're giving your number doing shit online. Okay. This is why all these numbers calling. And they call. And they're calling from different people. From different places. But asking for one person. Now this tells me. That whoever the fuck this is who's doing this. This motherfucker ain't got shit to do. They bored. Apparently they don't have a job. They, they can't. As many numbers this fool and gave people. But see, the reason they're doing this is because you got some important information coming. And you may receive that message in a text, a phone call, a voicemail, or something. So this person is doing all of this for you to change your number. For you to miss your opportunity. They want to keep harassing your phone. For you to change your number. So you can't get that message. Okay. See from the courts. They don't want you to get the message from the court. So why are they doing this for the collector to. Um, change their number. Now it may not be no courts for you. It may be whatever legal documents or something it can have something to do with uh a disability uh your bank information um your job something that somebody don't want you to get so they're going to keep on harassing your phone for you to go on and get mad and say i'm tired i'm changing my number well fuck i'm not changing my number you the one bored you ain't got shit else to do but to, to keep calling home repair shit because you didn't put me out of my daddy's fucking house so you didn't, then, then, you know, got all of these home repairs and shit called. But you know what? I've been telling them when they called and they asked for Rick. I say, Rick died. Rick died. He did. Rick did. Yeah, they had, they had, they kept calling my phone asking for Rick. And I know who's doing this. It's a main man who's doing this. Okay? Your main person. The person you're thinking about is the one who did it. There's the one who you either, you're ghosting them, you're not talking to them, you've blocked them or something. So, since since basically, since I can't get through to you, I'm going to just give everybody your number. This is the motherfucker that, be in a, in, that goes in a men's bathroom. And do and put your phone number out there because he's mad because you didn't want his punk ass. That type of immature. This is an immature ass motherfucker. But see, now I'm I'm spiritually connected and I know who it is. They ain't got shit else to do. They bored. So I'm like, oh. And they doing this because they don't want to apologize. They're unapologetic for the shit they doing. And this is somebody's main man. Just tell me about the phone calls. 
Why are the phone calls? Tell me about the phone calls. Let you see it. Pathway. So, again, if it ain't got nothing to do with um, a corporation, it could have something to do with your spiritual journey. See, my business cards have my phone number. So if, if I change my number, I have to go and remake some whole cards. See, this is the plan of the enemy. But see, I see him. I see him 10 feet, 10 steps ahead of him. I see everything they're doing. And I'm going to see when it's, when it's all over, when they're going to get their karma. I'm going to see that too. I see them getting prison time. Pulling labor. So yeah, see. The sudden wealth, in my case, this person who's doing this to me, they kicked me out of my dad's house and they didn't do shit. He didn't do nothing to this house. Nothing. If anything, he helped hoard it, this motherfucker. Up. You couldn't even walk through it. But he hoarded it up. Bringing all, he took all of my dad's valuable shit and replaced it with junk. Because he has a, a drug habit. Okay. So he ain't got I, I, he ain't got shit else to do. Mm -hmm. So he fucking with me because he going through a storm. This person is 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 going through in your case and my case. Whoever the person who got somebody, if somebody is playing on your phone and, and different people call and they asking for one specific person, or if they calling for different names, this person is spending all this time to get your number out. Don't block it. I mean, don't 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 change your number. Because they're trying to make you miss this news or something. All because they're going through some sort of hidden storm. Okay. They're going through a... Through, through, to, to, they're having delays and setbacks in their life. They're crying. You expect it. Okay. You know that they're going through the shit. Because I, I know. I haven't seen them. I haven't heard from them. But I know that he's getting karma. And I don't care if he out there spending money and this and that and doing what he's what what he ain't supposed to be doing. He's still getting karma. He gonna get big karma. And whoever is doing this on playing on your phone, if somebody is playing on your phone, you know who they are. You know. They playing because they know you got some good luck coming. This is why they want you to change your number. They want to keep harassing you. So you would change your number. Don't you change your number. You do, they trying to make you miss your blessing. No. If anything, just, just play stupid and act dumb with them. I say anything to them now. Fuck them. They call him. He died. Um, then I played right along with him. And then all of a sudden, he knows I'm 56. He got all of these senior folks calling my phone. I know they call. But no, he's doing more because I told him to take me off their list. He's doing this. My sibling is doing it. So when they when the senior people, when they they uh was telling me, you know, trying to tell me their little program, I, I I you know, would tell them stop calling my phone. I'm not interested. You know how I got them the senior people to stop calling my phone? I said, I'm 25 years old. And they hung up. So when they calling you like that, tell them the opposite of what they want. So, you know, um, homeowner, I don't own this home. I'm not a homeowner. So the call's going to stop because I'm telling them I don't own this home. What they going to keep calling back for if I'm not the owner? And then I just went along and played with, played along with them. They was talking about, um, Fixing the windows and all of this shit. I said, y'all will do all that? Oh, well, shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. And then, after I, I got them all hyped up to where they thought I was going to do some shit, I said, um, can I be the renter and, do, and, and you do this and I rent the place? They said, oh, no, you're not the, the homeowner. I said, no. I just rent. But I would, I would, I would, I don't think the manager will, will like if I... You know, have y'all to do it, but y'all welcome to come and, you know, I'm just renting here. I pay rent every month, so why can't I get them to do this? I play just as dumb and just as stupid. 
And it was like, oh, well, I'm sorry. We can't, we can't do business with you. And they hung up. So you start telling them things that they, that's going to make them cut all of that shit short. If somebody is giving you a number and doing all this shit, you can stop it. You can nip it. Think of some, think of some shit. Just think of some, the opposite of, if they call you, just whatever they ask about, tell them the opposite. You're not old enough. You're too young. Um. You don't live in, in, in this, this country. Um, and you're just visiting just whatever. So they'll stop calling your phone. Because you got a dipstick out there that's making these motherfuckers call. And then, I haven't seen a, um, I don't know where I seen this. It was a while ago. Um, it was my, my daughter-in-law. My daughter. I call her my daughter. Um, she... <laughs> <laughs> somebody they kept calling her phone to fill out some application for something so she let them get all the way to the park when they said um how do you spell your first and last name she said you ready he said yeah she said f u c k y first name fuck Last name you. And she spelled her first name as fuck and the last name you. And they hung up. So you have to, you know, because these motherfuckers now, they call you from their cell phones and shit. Just like I'm sitting in the car, they sitting in their car doing the same thing. So at least I ain't calling y'all. Y'all come to me. I don't got your phone number. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, what else is going on with this person? Why they're calling they doing this shit because they got caught doing something they got caught whatever it is they try to do they got caught they was doing something early in the morning between four and five in the morning they got caught they could have been trying to spy on you and you could have seen them or they could have somebody spying on you early in the morning and you seen this person mm-hmm this attorney could have somebody spying on you. Your prayers are being heard. But what's right behind them is some sort of manipulation and spell work. I have to look because earlier... <laughs> Somebody somebody broke in my neighbor's mailbox. He's a cool little dude. We get into it. We the same sign. And we get along, but we argue. And um, I saw the gangster in him today. I was like, somebody broke in his mailbox. That nigga went out there with his pistol. Them fools, they, was, they put that truck in reverse. And, and he was, and the funny thing is, he's a little guy. But he was walking towards them, and he didn't have his gun pulled out, but he let them see, motherfucker, you want my mailbox again? I'm going to blow your head off. I was like, damn, them niggas, all I smelled was rubber in the streets. They they peeled when they backed up, and he was like, no, I just want to talk to you. I ain't finna shoot you. Come here. And they pulled up, and he let them know he seen them on camera, still in his mail. And when he told them that, them niggas, they went, put that car in drive. And they didn't even, they could have got killed at the at the stop sign right there because they ran that motherfucker. They was going about 30 miles an hour just from the middle of the block where I'm at. They took off. He punched it. I know 30 miles an hour ain't fast, but for, for him to just take off, it went from 30 to, to 50 real quick. If another car was there, somebody would have got killed. So tell me more, Spirit, about this person. Why are they playing on the collector's phone? They mad. This is somebody's ex. This is a karmic. Now, in my case, this could either be my karmic ex or my karmic sibling. They both mad. Okay. Spell work. Spell work behind him now. Or is he mad looking at the spell work? I'm trying to do some spell work looking at your new beginnings. Mad about that shit. Okay, Spirit, tell me more for the collective. 
Why are they mad? Why is somebody's karmic ex mad? Why is this karmic ex mad? Because you're about to receive some message. That's why he called and he wants you to change your number. This is why. Something been hid in the drawer from you. You're supposed to been receive some shit. I'm supposed to been receive some shit. But they, they haven't given it to me. And, um, see, my brother, whoo, ooh, I just, I ain't even gonna say nothing. I remember Spirit told me to shut the fuck up. But they mad because there's some sort of message coming for you. It's hot. I gotta turn my air off. Off. I had the heat on earlier. Hot glass. I'm anemic. They had me out here in the cold. I be freezing and then I get hot. Something must be. that is I'm homeless papers about a house and this is could be some money too yep somebody may be about to receive some papers and move on here yeah, some family member may not be talking to you so if they ain't talking to you now and when you move you don't talk to them Okay. If they ain't there for you when you need them, when you don't need them, you even when you needed them, they wasn't there. So you ain't gonna need them now. Don't give them none of your great fortune. This person wants you in despair. They don't want you to have no great fortune. They can't create no more blockages in your life. They didn't want you to be no star. Stand out. They wouldn't sign some papers or release your money, your documents, or whatever they were supposed to do. Um, they didn't do it. This person was being false. This is a snake. And now see they're concerned. That you're about to receive some stability and your growth is coming. And this person was trying to steal. And they wanted you to be and they wanted me to be in poverty, but we ain't. Okay? You may have, you may be in poverty, but you don't fucking got a poverty mindset. I sure in the fuck don't. Hell no. Move to another city or another state or another fucking country. And don't tell these motherfuckers. Okay? Because all they're going to try to do is use you and you're not allowing that. And they don't want you to cut them off. They want you to still be in some sort of mental imprisonment with them, but you ain't. This is relocating. You're moving. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be able to. You're gonna get some papers and be able to move. It's coming. Mm -hmm. This shit is coming to an end. Somebody took a gamble or a risk when it came to you. So now you're putting it there. They're, they may be. They, mm, the card speaks for itself. Because the universe don't like that. So this person may end up passing away. Okay. Hate to say it. Acting childish. Some of you, this person came in between your relationship. It could be a relative. Here's a um, a mature female, main female, a mature woman right here in the main. This could be a sister. This could be your mother. Um, this could be your your person's child's mother. It could be a family member. Privileged lady in reverse. They didn't want you to be privileged. Okay, they can't anchor you down no more. Here's a, a proposal. Somebody, you know, um, it's a masculine energy out here. He got a ring in his hand, but he ain't proposed because he know he can't anchor you down no more. So some of you, this is why your phone is ringing because your man is mad because he can't anchor you down. Mine is my sibling and it may be my ex. I don't know. He may be doing that shit too because I blocked him. I blocked both of them. I blocked my brother and my ex and I really was in love with my ex and he did me dirty. He chose his friends over me. So why would I keep hurting myself? No. Mm -mm. Yep, the ex right here. She ain't saying nothing to him. Some court case. She's waiting for somebody. This ex is, somebody is married. And their ex is waiting for them to divorce somebody. 
This is going on right now. Yep, they're dealing with the narcissist. Secrets. He's unofficial. Some court papers, some unofficial court papers. Somebody uh, is going to want to spend time with you, but this person has wanted to hang out with you. I wouldn't deal with this motherfucker because this is the motherfucker that's got your money stopped. Okay? They're just, this is a narcissist. They have something to do with your your paperwork and shit being delayed. Something to do with your unexpected income. It's not coming. Okay? Whoever this person is, they want to spend time with you. They're supposed to be loyal. This person broke your heart. They don't want it to be over with you because now they're getting karma. Mm-hmm. Somebody's about to get some news, some paperwork or something, some sort of documents from the court. Okay, here's the community. Somebody's prayers is being heard. And I see Divine Feminine looking at a gift that she didn't receive or she's looking at someone not receiving their gift. This person could be gifted and God is taking away their gift. Like in my case, my, my uh, karmic energy was gifted, talented, a musical genius. But he'd been focused so much on me for the past six years, and before that, he was doing shit. So he's losing his gift. Fingers probably cramping up and shit. Probably can't play. You know, that's what that's what you get from Cracker Jack. Okay? This person had a choice to do right, and they did And now somebody is moving on and leaving the situation. Somebody don't have a job. Somebody treated you colder than a polar bear's toenails. Mm-hmm. Their mask is falling off. They can't gossip about you no more. This person is sick in the hospital while they was trying to keep you in some sort of entrapment. You're not in there no more. And again, some of you, this is family, and some of you, this is your lover. Secrets came out. So I'm going to stop right there. Peace.